Brazil. Alberto Satoshi, Bonsai Jiu Jitsu, residing in Japan, also Brazilian, here in Abu Dhabi. And Satoshi, as well as his brother Marcos Souza, have been coming to Abu Dhabi for quite some time, year after year, putting on amazing performances. Satoshi actually defeated Lucas Lepre yeah. back in the day. So Yeah, I think he's a two-time champ on this tournament. He's out quickly. I, I predict that this... You know, being a semifinal, I think that Izak is going to turn the heat up a little bit yeah. for this match. I think he has no choice. Yeah, I don't think you have a choice. Because uh, Satoshi, I've been sort of keeping an eye on him. And, and you know what? I just said it. And Izak with that beautiful sweep attempt, getting underneath Satoshi. Satoshi, Satoshi triangling, trying to attack the arm, falling off of Izak. Izak now trying to get back on top, getting in the back of Satoshi. Yeah. I called it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Isaac now. He has to. Back. Yeah. Because so. if, you, if you don't put it on Satoshi and you're a little slow, Satoshi's going to put it on you. And all of a sudden, like you said, Sean Williams, Flying Triangle is going to come out of nowhere. Yeah. Some sort of dynamic attack. Satoshi trying to roll out. Uses that scramble to recover. Yeah. Satoshi... Trying to pull guard. Izak with that guard interception. Knee cut right away. Izak now up one advantage. Satoshi now collar sleeve. Looking for the lapel with the right hand. De La Hiva. Satoshi grabbing the belt there, trying to bear him bolo, trying to invert now. Mm -hmm. But I like what Izak is doing, dropping his hips off to the side. He's not going to fall on the hips of Satoshi. But Satoshi now trying to change the momentum, trying to get his hips up and over. Izak now switching out to the side. A lot of intricacies there in that little scramble. Yeah, that definitely a lot going on there to counter and... Yeah, Satoshi had a good leg position initially. Now again, he's got the lapel under the leg with the right side, so usually signifies Satoshi's going to invert up like that. Yep. Attacking the leg now. Uh, wow, that's Straight on. Knee bar. That's almost on. The right pos leg position is just a little off. Yeah, I think Izak's knee has just turned out a little bit now. Switching into the 50-50. Satoshi with the modified <laughs> lapel grip there. Using that lapel grip to sit up, get his two points potentially. Here he goes. Satoshi in the lead now, 2 nothing over Isaac Baez. And Satoshi now has a little bit of an advantage, especially if this 50-50 game continues because he was the first one to sweep. So all being equal from 50-50, he's going to have an advantage yeah. here. And with three minutes left... You know, there could be quite a bit of yeah, so, sweeps that so, happen. A lot of time left, especially with the aggressiveness of the refs and stalling. Bayonets has that foot locked up. Most likely either going to go knee bar or try to bring that left knee all the way underneath Satoshi's leg and think about squirting out the backside. A nice sweep there by Isaac, getting two points. Satoshi has the right, his right hand on that back leg. Kind of a different grip there instead of, oh, looking to hook there. Isaac not letting him get on top, stabilizing the top position here. Yeah, that grip is good for that knee bar attempt there. Satoshi's right arm. Yeah, he tucked his arm underneath for a sec there. Satoshi looking to sit up. Izak blocking him every time. Now Satoshi trying to invert, get underneath. Yep, trying to get those hips squared up to get on this knee a little bit better, but Izak's weight is good right now. Sitting low. Pressure definitely on now. Izak, you know, 
maintaining top position, but he can't stall here, especially with these referees. And if Satoshi was able to come on top, ooh, oh, look Phillip at that. might be tight. It's, it looks like it's in a decent spot on Satoshi's foot. Low on the foot. Zox in decent position here. Satoshi looking a little concerned there. Yeah. Foots. Oh, and I like how the angle's changing on that leg. It's not straight up and down. It's kind of more on the bone off to the side, a la Luis Ponza. Yeah, there he pushed it deeper in, but that... Well, now he's going to get the two. If he can hold. Oh, exactly. Oh, look that. at that. <laughs> Beautiful yeah. counter there. Yeah, and he's... I wonder if they're going to give an advantage to him for that, but no. So that's big because now Izaki's oh. up by an advantage. So this absolutely changed the game here. This makes it into an entirely different match. Now Satoshi has to go for broke. 30 seconds, open up this guard, and attempt to pass at least rack up two advantages or get three points for the pass if he wants to win this match. Here he goes, has a chance to scramble, but Izak now up on that leg, gets on top, gets another two points. 13 seconds left in this match. Izak Baez is up four to two. Satoshi's gotta work here. Yeah, that was well done to control that far leg and put Satoshi down. Satoshi now inching back, trying to shoot his leg over for a triangle potential. And there you have it. Isaac Baez gets the win 4-2 to two over Roberto Satoshi. The UAE fans cheering <laughs> for Isaac Baez here in Abu Dhabi. And that'll put him into the finals. You know, first year at Black Belt, uh, what a strategic move it was to change the whole game that last minute and a yeah. half, you know, by saying, you know what, I'm out of this 50-50 nonsense. We're not going to play this game anymore. I'm going to get out, pull close guard, and dominate and control. Very, very smart. 